My prince's boy loves his brother. Who has a brother? Yeah? Yeah, do you love your brother? Yeah? Someone shook their head. Someone said no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I've been doing theater for over 25 years. And being able to bring theater and drag together and then bringing it with children just warms my heart so much. To be able to read books to kids and see their eyes open up and just laugh and play, this is why I enjoy what I do. Peace follows I'm sorry, can let differences live. It spreads and it strengthens when hearts can forgive. Drag has been an essential part of the West Hollywood community for a long time. Uh, historically, this has been such a haven for queer people, so of course it's been a haven for queer art forms. When we first started doing Drag Story Hour, this is one of the first places we really started doing it. So you really see drag in its most cutting edge form taking place here in the city. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes. Yeah. The city of West Hollywood has been supporting Drag Story Hour at the library since 2017. What moves me is seeing the faces of the kids when they hear the stories. And it really teaches kids about acceptance, about belonging, and that you can just be your true self. I think that Drag Story Hour supports the mission of West Hollywood because it is all about inclusivity, it's all about giving young people the opportunity to meet people that they might not have met in their everyday lives, it gives them the opportunity to understand other identities, and it gives them the opportunity to explore drag in an environment that's not only safe for them, but made for them. Watch the world from above. In this little hour, it's possible to find truth and peace and love in just this little hour in this room right now. No matter what's going on out there, you can find it. And I hope you find it every day. Thank you so much for coming.